This next poem was written recently after I had a long, fascinating conversation with an elderly sailor on a train in the Maritimes. His view of the world was rather strange, but I learned more from him than I could have from a dozen books. This poem is actually a series of extrapolations from the things he was telling me. It's called The Compass. Now, miss, the first thing you've got to understand is that the earth moves round the sun. I tell you this to help you get ahead in life. And the next thing is you've got to watch your grammar, miss, your grammar, because that's important to get ahead in life. And don't be afraid to face a big conglomeration of people. Me, I'm not afraid, even though I just got out of the hospitality, because I know where I stand, miss. And everything's got to go and come back home like the tides. Now, you give me a ship and I'll take her to Germany or Africa, you name it. Because I know how the Gulf Stream divides the world in two. And I'm not scared to cross the great attitude. Yes, miss, attitude. They say the Atlantic, but I know it's the attitude because you go down the longitude to reach the attitude. You follow me? Stars? Sure, I can sail by the North Star and the South Star and the East Star and the West Star. Even on this train, miss, you don't know it, but we be sailing by those stars because they're the compass points for all the world. See this compass? You turn five degrees and then you come back home. You gotta always come back home, miss like the tides. Look now, you be always at the center, even in a big conglomeration of people, and all the words you talk here go down to the sea and the tide brings them back tomorrow morning. I tell you this so you won't fear, and you always know just where you stand and how you're turning. He turned the old German compass over and over in his sure black hands. I had this 15 years, he said, but I give it to you now so you can get ahead in life and learn the longitudes and attitudes and figure out just where you stand. All I could think of to give him in return was my book of poems, a pointless gift. But taking it, he smiled and said, I've been doing some writing, too, to get ahead in life. And pulled out from a suitcase, old as the crazy seas he sailed, something he handled with great respect. A battered notebook where he'd written in big scared lines the first few letters of the alphabet. <laughs>